What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, uh, I have laid siege to two Württemberg territories and a, a force from Stuttgart I believe has come across to attack me, needing, resulting in the forces selling out to attack me. So let's get going. So I've got two artillery pieces, quite important with a canister shot, um, but apart from that I have the qualitative advantage really because I've got more um, regular line infantry that know fly by rank. I've got a handful of militia, um, but right now they're kind of not fodder exactly. And I know, yeah, they, yeah, they go. Oh, that's not great terrain. So I think I want to come out here. I think I want to come out here. Let's put my artillery up on a position up here I think that is pretty cool and let's deploy my line these guys are gonna get ready to deploy might only need two really to fill this gap so these guys be a deployment or reserve on the left. So I don't know where the... I'm not quite sure where everything's coming from. So let's put my militia out here on the ready to deploy on the right. Or I could, or I could just deploy them on the right. Split my pikes up. My general in the centre. Oh wow, I forgot my cuirassiers. Run! Yeah, they deployed right in my face. So I'd have been deploying, like, here. And then on my extreme flank is the Wurdenberg forces. Just let them leg it. So stretch out my militia as far as they go, I think. Do that to cover this section of you know, this spare slot. Let's move these two guys over on the right to reinforce this flank, my weakest flank. My guys are going to be tired. But yes, this would have been a bit tricky. I don't know. Some more Zars. Provincial cab, provincial cab. they fire on the next guys yet? Well I'll just set them to fire on them anyway. Doorbell? That's not for me this time. Let's get in position. If the ring's getting I'll go get it. <laughs> uh, Mass charge. Charge my pikes in. gonna happen. Pike's a pretty badass. And there we go, they've 
melt it again. There we go, fall back into position. They want some too! Nope, they're going to charge down to the breach. Not to the breach, down to the gully. Not end well. These guys are charging utterly the wrong direction. Once I've taken out this first army, I'll form up my lines and I'll march on to take to take on the uh, the reinforcing stack rather than sit back here. Fire. Get stuck into the pikes, including my own pikes. Goons, provincial cav. There you go. Lots of just regular infantry. Let's charge straight into their unit of hussars. Get them out of square. Form square with this unit because they're looking a bit on their lonesome. Yes, into the provincial cave.
Yard Square. Let's assume that unit's going to break. Let's position these guys to face the oncoming troops. Swiss bikes, man. I'm telling you. Much handier than you think. Take the crest of that hill. are all just infantry unit after infantry unit after infantry unit that's ripe for the chopping. Let's give my Crescius chase after that lands that don't have any militia as they're the only one left. slaughter nah, it's not worth chasing after them Keep moving up my pikes. You know, everyone's getting a good luck in. You treacherous dogs. We 
80th Regiment of Foot Lair, 24th Regiment de la Reine. Very good accuracy. Almost twice as accurate as the regular militia unit. And they're even more accurate than a triple chevron. One chevron of uh, this regiment is more accurate than a three chevron regular unit of line infantry. My guys are very tired, but they are very, very good. There you go, they shot one there. They shot a sepoy in the back. He's going to try and deploy stakes. Karlstad Likane Grenz Regiment. Placing stakes. Well, they were. Storm straight up, you three, or oh, charge this unit of militia. General. Let's get him into the area. Where's my crossiers? There they are. They claim to be winning, pouring all of my resources. Charge my crossiers into this regiment of militia. A full healthy regiment of militia. It's probably. Chase after the Western European mercenaries. Good job, the 9th Regiment of Militia. They've been wavering for a while, but they've still not failed. It's 
bring these guys around to join in this combat because this garrison regiment seems to be holding out surprisingly well. Pull one of you back. So managing to slice and dice them. Keep chasing. Present fire. Come on. Deadly close range. Very close range. It's the end of them. Come on, the 33rd Regiment of Foot. Right into the back of this garrison, garrison provincial militia. Don't like his odds. Oh no. Shouldn't have said that. So even though they are slightly losing, they're picking away at my cavalry. Wavering. And they will break. They will successfully flee. But I don't think I'm going to chase anyone down this game. Now let's end it. Close victory. Well, granted, I was a bit sloppy, but I don't think. But yes, managing to. It's taken a few turns to. Uh... Well, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so I've lost 1,400, 2,800, so roughly 2 to 1, slightly less than. Um, but I've got significantly more men remaining than they do. So that force is going to retreat back to Stuttgart. And I'm defending against a bunch of Ottoman rebels. Um, so I'm gonna fight it for sure. And I'm gonna deploy conservatively because my, my army's very... Say la vie. History. The present king of Britain's history being repeated injuries and exposures, all having a direct object. <laughs> but fair enough. Uh, okay, so I want to. Okay. Deploy my artillery together. Wow, all three guns. So I'm deploying my most solid units of line infantry either side of the guns. Then deploy these manually. Get these guys behind the guns. I think this is going to be okay. I think that's everyone deployed. Good. Slowly start the pivot. Let's 
Janissaries that are nerf. Islamic swordsmen are scary. Israelis, Janissaries, and Kurdish hillmen. Ultimately, I'm going to triple speed it. Because I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to wander around a bit. So focus on the Islamic swordsmen. They're the scariest. Because granted, I've got um, pikemen who could do something about them. But I don't necessarily want them to... Don't want to rely on them. Because I've only got 96 of them. 98 of them, sorry. Although nicely, because of this ridge line, they are forming into a column um, to attack me rather than a direct line. And the general's staying back there. Frustratingly. But I think... Things are going to work out well. Ah, Bazi Bazooks. So these guys should get shot to bits by my line. My main focus, though, will be. There you go. So everyone is going to make aim, present, and fire. Good. Exalted Islamic Swordsman's breaking. Fine. Hit the Israelis behind them then. Nope. Come back. So let's move my pikemen to follow their axis of advance. Kurdish hillmen, they're just effectively militia, not even. Just hit them with canister now. They're slightly out of range, but the guns sometimes get a hit. Not just scattered beneath their feet. But by the time they've reloaded, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Deploy my cam uh, I, um, desert camel mercenaries. Here, knock them down. Here we go. Present. Fire. Okay, two fifty. Broken, but not a total win. Where's my cannons? Hit these Janissaries. Don't mind if I lose these camels, camels to be fair. Bashi Bazooks to the right. They are just rebels as well, so the morale should be pretty bad. So 
Let's just get my camels behind, because ultimately I think my best bet will be to lure them into my artillery line, or to my main battle line. So they're, is the range of their Kurdish hillmen just longer than my line infantry? Good, they've not pressed home their attacks. So round shot the general, I suppose. I think I'm going to triple speed it, because I think we're all pretty happy about the direction this is going to go. So the Azars are being shot to bits. The only thing remaining on the field is the general unit, so I'm more than happy to, to fight. Oh, that was a Terrific shot, that artillery. The rain, yeah, they're out of range of cannons to shot. So just keep firing cannonballs into them, I suppose. If they're going to really nicely wait for you. <laughs> that is, if my cannons can actually hit them. Come on. Standing still in a massive blob, and still my artillery is like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I can hit them. To be honest, probably better off just advancing my line. Give them a couple of blasts of musket fire. General's been killed. I'm not sure what they were trying to do. For a second I thought they were trying to go, wait for me to deploy, and then keep people. Okie dokie. Couple of good wins for us. Does that mean we've recaptured Damascus? There is a port in this region that has not yet it been does developed. not mean we've recaptured Select Damascus, but I'm just gonna alter that battle. Grow. A trade port will provide Okay, so you immediately need replenishment okay so I'm still attacking here but you're probably pretty knackered and you're also gonna be pretty knackered so if I did that eh, I will fight it um, but looking at the timer I think that's the end of this part actually I'll spend actually no I'll spend some uh, spend some money. Upgrade my economy a bit. Okie dokie so. Upgrade industrial buildings. Ah, uh, one thing I did spot actually down here. Trade port, iron mine. Trade port, repairing everything, get myself some infrastructure. Upgrade that. Not a Grand Opera House. Well, I don't know. Do I get a Grand Opera House? Can't get anything in Egypt. Happiness building. Do you gain me money? You allow me to spawn rakes, but that's not the same thing. So let's get... There you get plus plus three for turn wealth. Town for turn wealth. Good. Radio. So then couple of battles, done a bit of investing, and now is definitely time to end the turn. Uh, end the part, sorry. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed those battles, and I will see you next time.